Okay, so we want to talk to you a little bit about the QE and the E-type compressor and the application and the dryer that's proper because we're running into some situations where customers are using standard dryers and of course if you use a standard dryer with a QE or an E-type compressor it's going to pump oil. So any of the QE that have this configuration on the head and has the separate unloader box on the side is very important that this dryer or this compressor has the four line air dryer on it. So it was designed in a way that what has to happen is after the dryer purges it actually takes air from after the dryer, after, after the check valve and puts it back into the pressure side that goes back to charge the head of the compressor. So the design is that you, you need to keep this particular compressor running under head pressure of 125 psi. It requires it. If it doesn't get head pressure, then it will pump oil. So what we often see is a guy will change his compressor, put a new air dryer on it, and for some reason he leaves off the four, the external loop line. Now, you can buy this dryer especially and making sure the application is right for the QE or you can go to the Turbo 2000 dryer that has the econ valve built into the dryer. So internally in this dryer it allows you to take that air and keep the head charged with pressure so that you don't have an oil pumping problem. So just keep that in mind that it's really important with the QE and E style compressors that the application of the dryer is correct because it makes all the difference.